So this question appeared in NEET PG 2018 and the question is inhibition of which of the following enzyme is responsible for action of 5 fluorouracil as an anti-cancer agent and your options are dihydrofolate reductase, thymidylate kinase, thymidylate reductase or thymidylate synthase. So let's look at what is the mechanism as to what, how, on what reaction or on what enzyme 5 fluoros will act to act as an anti-cancer agent. Now, many of my students will keep telling, sir, biochemistry is really tough and we find biochemistry very, very tough. And I have a very simple advice. Entire biochemistry is just around 120, 130 cycles. And if you can know and learn those cycles, you will be able to solve 95, 98% of all biochemistry questions. The point is that you will focus a lot on theory, okay, and those cycles get sidelined. If you remember those cycles, the enzymes, the steps, the inhibitors, you can literally answer, you know, 95% of the questions which easy. And I have already created a compilation of all those, uh, you know, biochemistry uh, cycles. If you require, just let me know or you can put in a comment below and I'll give it to you. Or you are connected to me through WhatsApp, any one of our, you know, members, you can just send them the message and I'll send you that biochemistry cycle compilation PDF. Now let's start looking at this question. So here I'll show you two reactions, very, very important. And there are multiple questions that are asked on that, those reactions. So the first reaction is conversion of uridine diphosphate to deoxy uridine diphosphate okay and the enzyme here is ribonucleotide reductase remember whenever in biochemistry we talk about oxidation so what is oxidation oxidation is when we add oxygen to a reaction or we remove hydrogen from a reaction similarly what is reduction so reduction is when we remove oxygen from a reaction or we add hydrogen to a reaction very important concept to understand you know if some oxidase reductase is there so you will see what is either oxygen will be added or removed or hydrogen will be added or removed so here reductase there is a addition of hyd uh, hydrogen so where does that hydrogen come from it will come from nadph so this nadph plus h will get converted into nadp and thioreduction is the carrier and the enzyme here is thioreduction reductase okay so this is udp to dudp now the next is a very simple a dephosphorylation reaction so dudp is converted to dump simple phosphate will be removed and the diphosphate will be converted into monophosphate the next reaction is where i want all your focus all your attention this simple reaction has so many questions so now what happens this dump is converted into deoxythymidine monophosphate okay and the enzyme here is thymidylate synthase and what essentially happens on a molecular level is one methylene is added. One methylene is added to this uridine to convert it into, you know, thymidine. So what will be the giver of that methylene? That is methylene tetrahydrofolic acid. Okay. So this methylene tetrahydrofolic acid is converted into dihydrofolate. And again, this will be converted back into methylene tetrahydrofolic acid with the help of dihydrofolate reductase. So this is a very, very important step. So hope you are clear. DUMP is converted into deoxythymidine monophosphate and methylene is added. So methylene tetrahydrofolate will give the methylene and get converted into back into dihydrofolate. And again, it will be recycled with the help of dihydrofolate reductase. Now two enzymes, this thymidine, thymidylate synthase and dihydrofolate reductase are very, very important, you know, uh, points of intervention for anti-cancer drugs. The first one is 5-fluorosyl directly inhibits thymidylate synthase and the type of inhibition is competitive inhibition we have learned about different types of inhibition in some other video so remember competitive inhibition 5 fluorouracil will you know competitive inhibit thymidylate synthase the next enzyme is this dihydrofolate reductase and another very important anti cancer drug methotrexate will you know competitive inhibit dihydrofolate reductase so this is all important points so there are multiple questions which will be asked on this there will be question on methyl trap, there will be question on 5-fluorouracil mechanism of action, methotrexate mechanism of action, what kind of inhibition is there. So remember, both of these are competitive inhibitions, okay. So now let's go back to the question. So what is the mechanism of action and the correct answer is, you know, inhibition, competitive inhibition of thymidylate synthase. Another, dihydrofolate reductase, again, competitive inhibition by methotrexate. 